Genetically modified products, also known as GMOs, which stands for genetically modified organisms, have taken over our world. Every person in our world works, will experience and consume GMOs in some way in their lifetime. Our purpose of this film is to educate the general public on the pros and cons of GMOs. We will now go live to Hanson Louie inside Sobeys. Over to you, Hanson. Here we are outside Calgary Sobeys. I'm here with John Smith. So, John, what are your views on GMOs? To be honest with you, I don't really like GMOs. I feel like it's wrong to be eating something that could be spliced with another organism, like salmon spliced with the genes of another fish, the ocean pope. This makes the salmon grow faster. Companies shouldn't be allowed to be splicing different genes into anim animals in order to produce more food per year. I feel like it's wrong to be eating something that could be called super salmon. I see what you mean, John. How do you feel about the consumers generally uninformed about this? Consumers really need to know what they're buying. Currently in Canada, labeling is, is mandatory if there is a health and safety issue with the food. Other than that, companies don't require to label their product. If it so happens to be genetically modified, and that's my views on GMOs. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Back to Nathan Walker for a quick recap. As you can see, GMOs can be a very bad thing at times. Genetically mod modified organisms are an issue that needs to be addressed. We don't know, as consumers, what we are buying sometimes. However, like any issue, there are varying views on it. We will now go to another consumer. Over now to Dustin, who is in Safeway. I'm here with Laquisha McCarthy. She is a normal everyday shopper at Safeway. Hey! I was wondering if you could answer some questions about genetically modified foods. Sure, I'd love to. I was actually looking at a blog the other day about how companies are adding genetically modified ingredients into products. I see. What are your views on GMOs? I think they're great. GMO foods can actually be very nutritional. By modifying foods, scientists can add vitamins and nutrients to make them better for people. That's right. For example, scientists have actually created something called golden rice. Golden rice contains more vitamin A than normal rice. One more question. Are you worried that there are genetically modified foods it could be harmful to your health in the future. No, I believe that the scientists responsible for making these products are very knowledgeable about their products and how to make them safe to the public and effective. That's how I feel. Hmm. Very cool. Thank you for your input. And now, we go to Nathan Walker. He's with Tony Michelson, a health inspector out of Stanford Martin Medical School. They are in Tony's office in Calgary, Alberta. Over to you, Ethan. Hello, Dr. McEwen. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. No problem, Nathan. Which questions can I answer for you? Well, I just want to know some facts about GMOs and what benefits and risks they possess in our health and well-being. Of course. Well, GMOs can have positive and negative effects to our health. You see, when GMOs are created, genes from other organisms are spliced into one another for many different reasons. Some companies and farms just want to to produce more product in little time, such as splicing salmon with the ocean pupfish. This helps the salmon grow to full size in very little time. Another reason companies may do this is for aesthetic benefits, such as rainbow corn. The first ever really commercially sold product goes all the way back to 1994, when Cal produced a tomato that took uh, longer to ripen. Wow, that's really interesting. How do these foods affect your health? You know, in my opinion, and as a healthcare professional, I don't see any major risk to our health by consuming these foods. Considering almost everything you can find in a grocery store today is genetically modified in some way, we have been eating these foods for a very long time. Unless the product is strictly marked organic, the product must be somehow genetically modified. The only thing different with GMOs is the product's genetic makeup and this is usually only altered for the production phase. It's not like splicing two things together and make a that will make a product that is super bad for your health. This is how I truly feel about GMOs. Wow, you seem really knowledgeable at the task at hand. Thank you very much for your help on our research. No problem, Nathan. Anytime. As seen in this presentation, views on the pros and cons of GMOs and other topics vary greatly. Bias may also affect how a topic is perceived. We believe that GMOs are beneficial to us as people and will eat foods containing GMOs daily. As almost Everything in our life, food-wise, has been affected by GMOs in some way. Thank you for viewing our presentation.